Shake it, baby. Good evening, my family of truckers and logistic coordinators. That's my term for um, for uh, truck drivers. Uh, you know how sometimes janitors, they call themselves... Um, um, well, I've heard some really technical terms that uh, janitors use, like um, domestic contractual coordinator so for truck drivers i call myself a logistical coordinator <laughs> we got an office this is our office we got a great view we got a laptop even though it's a e-log system but uh we're logistical coordinators <laughs> Well, hey, how you guys doing? It's uh, Wednesday. What is today's date? You know, stuff starts to blend, man. Um, April 6th. Wednesday, April 6th. Actually, my birthday is uh, it's Monday, April 11th. I'll be <laughs> years old. <laughs> I'll tell y'all later. Because <laughs> it's still a shock to me. It's, um, it's scary. Time flies. But... Yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little update on what's going on. I made that delivery last night in Houston, Texas, and I am uh, currently uh, in Tuscaloosa, Alabama at the 77 on I-20 here at the TA. Um, well, just outside of Tuscaloosa, just Tuscaloosa suburb, I guess you call it. Um, left uh, Houston this morning about, about 5 o'clock or so, 5.30 Head to Westlake, Westlake, uh, Louisiana. Picked up at uh, PPG. I uh, got a, a hazmat load. Excuse me. Wow. Then I'm taking to Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, left Westlake about 9.15. I stopped and scaled the load. Um, you know, I got to say, you, you know, when you come out of the Louisiana area, period, Texas, Beaumont, Orange, Houston, um, Lafayette, Lake Charles, that area where a lot of the refineries are, you're going to have some heavy loads. I know I just said a couple of days ago that I'm trying to look for, for light loads, but I knew coming up out of that area that I was going to have to get a heavy load. But this load is heavier than they said it was. Um, 42,000. I should be sitting around 74 gross, 75 in the neighborhood. I'm thinking I could be off by a couple, um, but I'm maxed out, man, about 78.4. This load is not 42,000 pounds. Um, I got like 33.5 on each axle. I was able to get the axles to, to, to max to, to spread out evenly. So you know good well I am not 42,000 pounds in this box. I am probably good 44, 45 gross. I'll, I'll figure it out. By the time I do my next clip on this, I'll know what that number is, at least a, an idea of it. Um, agents say it's a certain weight, and even on the bill of lading, it says 42,000, even. So that tells you they don't know what it is. It's just a flat, oh uh, yeah, 42,000, that's a good number. No, this load is now 42,000. I'm doing pretty good. I'm getting about seven and a half, seven, about 7.7 7 miles per gallon on the average on this run. Um, you know, coming through Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, it's fairly flat. There's a couple up and down hills. But I'm going to Chattanooga, so when I get up 59, I'm going to do some climbing. It ain't going to be as bad, but I'm going to do some climbing, so I'm going to eat up some fuel. But um, I left there this morning, probably about 9.15, stopped and scaled um, in Iowa, Louisiana. And I kept on rolling from there. I stopped and fueled up in Meridian. Just top it off. I mean, the fuel price was, I think it's a glitch. It said 3.30 uh, after, you know, the, the Landstar, um, uh, what you called, um, discounts and uh, the fuel tax um, allotment. Uh, just in case it ain't, it ain't a glitch, I just went on and topped it off. Three thirty a gallon? Yeah, let's let's get some of that. <laughs> I wish I could have 
bottle some of it and put it on a, in a trailer and keep it for later. You know what I mean? But yeah, just just a um, just kind of give you an idea. So I'm flowing. Uh, I drove for about five six hours. I'm about three hours out of Chattanooga. I'm gonna get up tomorrow morning about five five thirty. My appointment isn't until noon tomorrow. Um, but I, I got myself just a little cushion just in case. But I'm gonna leave here about five five thirty. That'll put me in Chattanooga by nine thirty um, Eastern time. Nine thirty Eastern time. Maybe they get me off early. And then from there, I'm dead headed, dead headed to Nashville. I got a FedEx load that I'm taking up Friday, so I'll be sitting there for for about a day and a half, roughly. Um, it just wasn't a lot coming out of Chattanooga, man. Um, I've learned something I've never delivered or picked up out of Chattanooga, so this is kind of a first for me. Um, but it was a good paying load coming out of there, about thirty two and a half gross coming out. So you figure line haul. I think the line haul was about 26, uh, and the rest of it is uh, fuel and a little bit of uh, extra accessorial for um, uh, for the hazardous, it being a hazmat. Uh, it's somewhere in the neighborhood. So, you know, 20, 65% of the uh, 2,600, which should be about, uh, I don't know, 1,700. I could be in that neighborhood. I'm not a mathematician. Um, plus, the, uh, so I, I should be able to. Uh, clear about 2300 It's an overnight run. Really, a, yeah, overnight run. I'll be delivering this tomorrow morning. So 24 hours on this load. That's not bad, but I am going to sit for about a day and a half. It's an overnight load up to uh, out of Nashville going to Columbus, and it pays about 2600 So, you know, it, 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 it fares out. It fares out pretty good. And again, that's an overnight run from Nashville to Chattanooga. That's just around the corner. We can, from Nashville to Columbus, so... But I just wanted to give you guys a little feel of what's going on. I'll do a um, another clip on this video once we get up to Chattanooga. But uh, I'm going to shut down here. I'm going to give me a shower and shave real fast. Yeah, I'm starting to show my age, whatever that age is. <laughs> I ain't ashamed to tell you my age. I'll tell you in a couple of days. Let me just get over this uh, this the shock of what my age is going to be in here in a couple of days. But um, yeah, I'm going to go give me a shave and a shower. Microwave me a little meal. It shut down. It's been a good day of running. The weather was clear. And uh, we'll continue this video uh, once we get into Chattanooga. You guys be great. We'll talk to you guys in a moment. What is happening, everybody? So um, I am in Nashville at the very moment here. Um, I was able to deliver that load this morning in Chattanooga. Uh, got there by 10 30 uh, eastern time 9 30 central and um they got me unloaded immediately it was pretty good i was out of there at 11 30 and um smooth trip it was a hazmat load good paying load the load paid um i want to say it was uh, boy i can't remember let me get my my black book so I could give you you all some numbers on what that load actually did. Uh, so that load was actually I'll give you all some good numbers here. <clears throat> so that load again came out of West Lake, Louisiana, hazmat load uh, delivering in Chattanooga. Um, the, the low was thirty one sixty four fifty two total. It was a um, four dollars eighty three cents a mile, uh, six hundred fifty four miles, and um, yeah. So you know, fuel right now is I think it's like sixty two sixty three cents a mile right now with the fuel surcharge. So fuel is about five hundred and fourteen dollars and fifty two cents, and I got a hazmat accessorial for one hundred fifty dollars. So. Um, paid to the truck. The truck made on that run. Again, I picked it up. Um, left Louisiana about 9 o'clock, 9.30 the prior morning. Wednesday morning, delivered at 9.30 um, Thursday morning. So it worked out. Came to 22.89.52 to the truck. At the end of after all the accessorials and so forth, it was three fifty three dollars and fifty cents per mile. Um, to the truck, so not bad. 24 hour load hazmat 
it was heavy. Um, got about seven miles to the gallon on the on the, on the fuel, uh, but at the end of the day, not bad. Uh, the load that I'm on now, what I will be picking up tomorrow, actually, I gave myself a little break because I am due <clears throat> the 120 day inspection, the infamous 120 day inspection, um, which is one of the requirements that we have here at Landstar. So gave myself a little time to do that uh, because every place, I, I called a couple of places, they said it'd be Monday before they could look at it for an inspection, man, come on. 30 minutes for an inspection, in and out. One place said, you know, I can't look at it today. I don't think I can look at it tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. So that means you can't look at it till Monday because it probably closed on, on, on Saturday. So it's it's one of the things that you that you have to do. They come up so fast. Seem like I just had a 120-day inspection. So you got to get it done. So I gave myself a little cushion. I don't leave Nashville until tomorrow night. Um, I got a 11 o'clock show up at the airport. I'll be there before then. Um, with that load delivers overnight run up to uh, Columbus, Ohio. Then I pick up a load out of um, the Toledo area going to Minnesota. So that'd be a Monday delivery. So kind of take a little break. And then I um, wish I could squeeze a 34 hour in. I don't think I'll be able to, to finagle it. We'll see. I'll try. We'll see. Um, but then from there, um, back to it. Back at it again. So give you a little update on what the how the inspection went should should go fine um after i got empty i actually stopped at the loves and checked my tires and I had a couple now that, that were you know below you know coming out of the winter and so forth you know one thing that you know if if i don't teach you anything today um hopefully you take this one have you a tire gauge a truck tire gauge i got one Let's see if i can reach it um it's a nice one i like it it is, I don't know what the brand is, but um, it's a nice one. Uh, make sure you have your tire gauge in your truck. This one right here, when you get the tire pressure, it actually locks in the, the number so you can pull it off and see what it says. And then you push this little button right here and that will release it, you know, but it allows you to, to see instead of you having to bend over and kind of see what the number is, um, but I was able to air up my tires just to make sure they're good, right? Um, I bought this at the, um, I think it's at Pilot. It's about $19, I think. This might have been $29. I think this was $30, $29 right here. I think it was. Good investment, good thing to have because you just need to know what your tires are reading. You want to definitely deal with um, fuel mileage, uh, easel, a uh, very major culprit of fuel mileage mileage is low tire pressure <clears throat> it's like driving in mud the tires are low you're not getting that good roll it's it's fighting against the 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 friction of your low tires um that is a very very major culprit of um or what's the term that is a that's a major symptom of low fuel mileage low air pressure so have that on your truck tire thumper maybe but definitely a tire gauge alrighty so with that being said guys you guys are amazing uh, we're going to close this trip vlog out uh, again I'm in Nashville Tennessee I'm going to have some barbecue so stay tuned for the barbecue review it's coming you know me R&D research and development got to do it especially when I got a day and a half to sit sorry I just got to have it and Nashville is a barbecue town believe it or not so we'll talk later family keep doing what you're doing so you can see what it does